Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to walk you through a software-defined radio base uh, or Wi-Fi jammer. Uh, ba basically, the concept of jamming is that uh, you have a signal and then you send another signal on the same frequency and it will cause interference. So in signals, we call them interference. In, uh, in basic terminology, uh, we call it jamming. For that purpose, uh, I normally use software-defined radio. So today I'm using my Hack RF to jam a Wi-Fi signal. Right now it is connected to my PC and I'm using Hack RF. Uh, the Linux distribution that I'm using is called Dragon Focal OS. Yeah, Dragon OS. It's a very beautiful distribution uh, related to software-defined radio. All the tools that you need for software-defined radios com comes uh, pre-compiled. So, for example, if you're looking for a jammer, you're looking for open BTS, everything comes in. Uh, if you go to other, you will find all the different type of tools. The cool thing about this distribution is that uh, normally when you are downloading Ubuntu, you have to compile every single one of them. But this one already, all the tools that you need for software defined radios comes pre compiled. So, you don't need to worry about compiling it at your own normally and then there will be dependencies issues and things like that that's the best thing about this particular distribution that i like so here in this particular uh, example i'm going to use a tool called clever jam so let me just go to other and let me go to clever jam and now uh, once you open up any folder just ls to see what is the content so for example right now i'm using my hack rf which is connected to my laptop so I'm just gonna simply run sudo period forward slash jam underscore hack rf dot pi so this is a built-in script you're just gonna simply hit and you will see a display like this the default frequency that my hack rf is transmitting at is about 446 megahertz so the default frequency is about 446 megahertz I'm gonna change this frequency how am I gonna change this frequency so as you can see on my phone right now I am connected so what I'm gonna do there's an app called network analyzer and this is the app that I'm using so I'm connected to a network an SSID uh, uh, right now I'm connected to my uh, Wi-Fi and the channel that is transmitting at is about 2462 so channel 11 2462 so what I'm gonna do I will go here I will go here and I'll change this frequency to 2462 so I'll just simply go here I'm gonna change this frequency to 4462 and I'm gonna delete 2462 all right so right now as you can see I haven't hit enter yet uh, right now I'm connected to 2462 right here what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit enter now so once I have changed this I'm gonna hit enter now once I hit enter I'll leave you everything as is and I'm gonna show you my phone I'm gonna show you my phone and you would see that it will disconnect my phone alright can you see this now let me turn off this and let's see will I get my connection back let me close this and let's see do I get anything back do I get my connection back so right now and here we go my Wi-Fi is back let's do it one more time let's run this script and let's change the frequency to 2462 2462 and let's enter and let's see so start transmitting it uh, that's my Wi-Fi it says it is enabled everything is good to go 
let's wait to see if I get disconnected to see the proper working of my jammer and here we go my Wi-Fi is disconnected I'm not seeing that Wi-Fi logo here I'm not seeing anything here so this is disconnected so let me just simply close this and monitor this again so once I close this I should be able to see my connection being established and I'm back again so this is a very simple Wi-Fi uh, jammer you can jam any frequency because your hack RF and USRP devices are capable of transmitting signals from 10 megahertz all the way up to 6 gigahertz so you can jam just about any signal you want so I hope you like this small tutorial on jammers and how you can use Dragon OS Dragon OS Focal to, to, to get different applications related to software defined radios. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.